Why, hello again there, YouTube. CC Rodriguez back, part three, Resident Evil Village. I have a confession to make before I start playing. I attempted to record part three the last time, as you probably already know if you watched the end of my last video. I was going to try to record part three then, because I didn't have a save point. I didn't know where I was going, uh, if there was a typewriter... I didn't know if the, how the game auto saves and stuff like that. So I kept going. I re-recorded. And then I got about 15 minutes into that. Or 10 minutes probably. And I realized, I'm just trying to adjust everything real quick. I realized my phone told me I have no more storage left on my phone. So nothing saved. I ended up erasing that video. And I spent the last 25 minutes or so getting back to the part where i left off at i'm not quite at the exact same part but i'm pretty much in the area and so i've got kind of a makeshift setup with the green screens and everything you probably won't see that but um let's just get right into it all right we're back so i know so i know a lot of this stuff that's going to be happening now it's going to take the uh scares out of the at least the first 18 minutes but i do know that this can be removed because there's a door on the other side over there that we can enter. Uh, we can get, oh yeah, I forgot, we can get into the wine room. for some chem fluid and a note. Uh, I don't know if I, I'll read it again. The wine making techniques of Castle, blah, 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 can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina. Blah, 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 uses legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor, intensity, and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Her best vintage is Sangui Verni, meaning maiden's blood. It is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. So, that's that. And there's something over here. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember. I picked up that uh, glass, too. That's a valuable to sell to the merchant. Eyeball goes over there. I remember that. Uh, you can break that. Bust that pot! Lock from the other side. I think there's a pot here. Yep. Uh, I'm going to be a little looser on this video. A little bit of impromptu. We'll see how it goes. I might, I'm might. i probably going to end up cursing at some point, which is just no big deal. Uh, oh, here we go. Another pot here. Break that fucking pot. Alright. So I know the eyeball goes into this door. And I'm going to get chased now. So I'm going to have to run. I remember this part. Open the door. Yep. I'm going to have to book it here. String you up, slice your jugular, and just watch. Take it alive, dead, which would you prefer? Oh, I can't hold down. back any longer. So that part took me a little while beforehand. I didn't exactly know where I was going, but we are here. Uh, it was my first June 9th, 1958. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see other staff were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. We know differently now. They are going to bite. June 3rd, 1958. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle, and I'm a little dot 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 afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake, and Miss Danielle slashed her face with a knife. And at night, I can hear wailing, as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. July 8th. So this is June 9th, June 23rd, July 8th. So two weeks in between. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was so hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just to crack. Shut it, shut it now. They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear that I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen of again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So that was that note. We're going to continue down this hallway here. Crouch under here. Yep, here's big, big, uh, eight, 18 foot tall lady here. We're just going to wait for her to leave. Can you leave? 
Can you please leave? Leave? Can you leave? Can you leave? Are you not gonna leave? The last time she immediately left. Do I have to go further in? Oh, there she is. Yeah, I have to go further in. Look how big she is. She's like, that door is, I'm gonna go stand next to that door so everyone can just see how my height compares. I can't get in there anyway. That's a normal sized door. At least gotta be at least, oh, there's something over there. At least gotta be at least nine feet tall. Maybe it's all that man blood she's been drinking. All right, so basically this is where I had gotten the last time when I realized my video was off. I reached <coughs> this little cavey area here. I remember that little speck on the wall. I didn't know what that meant. Yeah, this part. All right, so this is the last part I played. This is pr pretty much all I did the last time. We have to move that torch there, and then we have to move this torch there, and that's gonna open up there, and now it's all new. So let's see what we have. Oh, it's dark. Okay, it's dark. Oh, there we go. No, I actually did this part too. Yeah, I remember coming into here with all these little cellars and stuff. Sure, there's nothing in these little rooms here. It's probably not. I can't remember if there is, but I don't think so. And... Nope. Sorry. I gotta keep still in this because I set up my green screen so shoddily that I'm afraid because it's attached to the light right now, and I'm afraid that it's going to all come crashing down on me in the middle and I really don't want to have to do that part again because I had to go through that fire part again and Elena died, all my friends died again. Oh, there's no, I mean a robust appetite, Michaela robust appetite. What was robust appetite? Ingrid, unstable, overly alert at times. But yeah, I had to go through that part again in the house with the old man, Leonardo, and everyone died and, oh yeah, okay. I remember that part too. Okay, here we go. I think this is about where I realized that my, oh, nice. Yeah, this is about the part where I realized that my stuff wasn't working. Yeah, because none of this stuff I remember collecting. All right, here we go. I already hear noise and I'm already like about to poo my pants. Is this a metal scrap? Well, I don't, don't know what that does, but. Yeah, there's somebody down here with me. Maybe I can, let me see if I can craft anything before I go. Uh, key items, treasures. Got lots of ammo. I can't create any more. Okay, nice. Couple more health potions, you never know. Can I get out? Can you let me out? All right, let's just get this out of the way. Oh, jeez. Yep. All right, here we go. Get shit on! Get shit on! Get shit on! Ow, 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 whoa. Get shit on. Get your fucking shit on! Jesus! Where are all these people coming from? Shoot me right in the ass. Oh, that didn't take very many ammo. Bullets. Shot that bitch right in the ass. Right in the ASS ass. Alright. I think there's more of them though. Alright. Well, we just wasted through a ton of ammo on four people. That's the one thing about Resident Evil that they seem to do interestingly is. Is there someone else coming? 
the amount of ammo it takes to kill things. You think you have enough, you think you have a lot, and then in Resident Evil, it just says, guess what? Nah. You don't have that many. I do have a landmine. I forgot about the landmine, which I can use. Yep, I'm gonna use it now. Put it down. Put it down. Alright, let's get out of here. Nice and easy. Boom! Get racked! Oh, I hear footprints. Ooh, a pipe bomb! I might hold on to that pipe bomb. Any more people? Any else? Yep, yeah, I hear someone. Hey, you two. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. While I was recording that last bit, my camera shut off again on my phone. It said, memory reached limit, cannot continue recording video. So I'll give you a quick summary of what just happened in that five minute window that you missed. Ah, more people, throw my pipe bomb, get a bunch of jewels and run up the steps. That's all you missed. Let's continue on with the video. So, as you saw already, the video shut off on me. I don't even know if I set this up right because I had to go through and figure out what the heck's going on on my phone. I had no space, apparently. Uh, when you delete pictures and videos, which I was doing before I started recording just in case I ran out of space again, what they don't tell you is that, that the pictures in your trash are also, they also count towards your space cap. So I went through and deleted about 600 pictures out of that folder. I freed up 20 gigabytes of space. So we are gonna try this again. You didn't miss too much, but I did use the pipe bomb that I had just said. I don't know if I said it in the video, but I I remember saying to myself that I was gonna save it. Uh, but anyway, I literally just ran up the stairs and that's pretty much it. Wait, no, I don't wanna do that. And I, do, and, I, and I did play this part too. So I already know what's coming up here. Uh, we've got creepy lady coming back. I can't believe Cassandra caused yeah, all this around. mess. So you got this lady that I need to get around. Come on. She is right there. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. And we need to get up the stairs here. How rude. Oh, we need to go to get the shotgun shells. No, you don't. You don't need blood. Wet, bright red. So we're gonna go over here. Where are you going? And she's gonna chase me, basically. Ah! So I already know what to do here. This part freaks me out. Yeah, pop, 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 pop. Oh, it can harm. Exposed. Get exposed. Suck turtle soup. man thing. Suck turtle soup. We love that shotgun. Really? I feel no pain. Oh, you're gonna feel pain. Cause I'm gonna uh, give you pain. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Uh, oh, I missed! How did I miss? Come on. Oh, wrong gun. How dare you tear your teeth at us? Okay, this is getting a little bad. I'm gonna have to use that. Heal up, come on, heal those movers, heal those movers, pick that, pick that, pick that in. Oh, excited, how excited! Get pooped on! By poop, I mean, ha I gotcha, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there. Yes, one down! Oh yeah, alright. I'm... Um, Paranoid that this is gonna shut off of me, and I don't want to have to do that fight a second time. All right, so we killed one of the vampires. Good. Eh, quick itch. This might be a short video with everything that's been going on today. Ooh, a wine bottle, which is effectively probably just blood. Is that a key item? Yes, it is. Can I? Can I? Can I look at it anyway? No, 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 no. All right, no, I can't. Maybe I can open the top? No, all right. Well, I got my second key item. Any 
anything else? Oh, a, lot, a note. Another one was sent to the cellar. She had only spilled some soup. Everyone knows what happens when you're sent to the cellar. You're never seen again. They drain your blood, your soul cursed to wander the halls. I went looking for her, and when I found her, she was just skin and bones and gnawing on a rat carcass. I suspect it'll be my turn next. So that's probably what I killed in the hallway with all my shotgun shells and everything. All right, metal scraps. <clears throat> Rats. How oh, nice. Anything over here? Just meat? Yeah, just probably meat, I guess. Okay. Hey, we got a drawer here. Easy to pick lock, which I still can't open. Uh, LEMI recoil compensator. Equip parts in your inventory. I guess that goes to the pistol. Alright, so that helps with recoil. Nice. That's pretty helpful, because that pistol is not that great. What else do we have? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I can finally start picking locks. But I read online when it comes to lock picks, you gotta be careful because I think these are expendable. Nice. Are they expendable? Yeah, so they're expendable. They're a one-time use. Uh, but I did get a nice statue from that, so that's good. So I do have to pick and choose if I want to save lock picks, if I want to use them up. Oh, where am I? So just keep that in mind when you're playing this on your own. You have to... I can finally unlock that. You have to use your lock picks. Well, I mean, you don't have to use them wisely, but I don't know if you're going to have that many lock picks for everything. All right, so we got some gunpowder. Anything on the table that can bust open? Those are some strong wine glasses. Wine bottles. All right. Nope, can't open that pot. Hey, we're back out here. Nice. Okay. So we've got the wine bottle. Does that mean we can open the door upstairs? I wonder. I can unlock this door. Oh, I forgot to unlock that door. Okay, that door leads back out. Uh, can we open this door finally up here? With the wine? Well, that's the wine room. This door, this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Alright. Just gotta make sure. I get freaked out easily. Alright, so we have some of that. I don't actually know what I just picked up. Open this. Courtyard key, nice, okay. So we've got our courtyard key. Make sure I didn't leave anything behind. Now we can go outside. I don't remember which way to go outside though, was. Is it this way? Nope, that's locked from the other side. Okay, so it's down here. Maybe it's that door that I tried to open beforehand over there. That kind of looks like it's going outside. Because I got, I came from there, I was dragged through there, maybe here? No, okay. So it is not there. Maybe it's this way, back towards the front of the house. Oh, I can't get out there. That's the elevator. Some way there. Nothing happens. Okay. Maybe here? Nope. Maybe down here? I don't think so. Well, I know I just came from... I don't think I have to go back there. Do I have to go back the way I came? Like, back through the maroon door? Like, or the eyeball door? Maybe I have to go back through the eyeball door. I didn't actually explore this area, so I don't really know what's in here. And that lock doesn't fit the keyhole. I don't think I have to go back into the cellar, even though I could be wrong. Is 
Jeez, I really don't know where to go right now. I'm completely lost. I know I don't have to go in here, because I was just in here, but let me just double check, make sure there's no door somewhere in here. There isn't. Maybe I have to, nope, it's definitely not there. Huh, <sighs> interesting. Maybe... Shall I give you the tour? Oh, jeez. Okay. Maybe I have to go back that way. <laughs> Maybe she's mad at me. All right, she's probably pissed at me. Because I took too long. Oh, here we go. Hey, I, maybe she's like, she gave me like a clue or something. Maybe that was that whole ordeal. She like gave me a, a, I don't know. Maybe that's the game's way of giving you clues on where to go. I don't think I would have figured that out if I didn't, if she didn't come from, I mean, I probably would have, but uh, she came from that direction. So she got my attention over there. Let's, so thank you, vampire. Let's see what's over here. I hear a swing. Sounds like it's coming from my right. I came from that way. This looks like the door. No, that's not, no. I don't know what I was just thinking there. Maybe we have to go over here, up there. Yeah, we'll probably have to, no, I don't think that was the way. I think we have to go this way, actually. All right, so that's, take it down there. There we go. We found a cutscene. Oh, big lady. Okay. Okay. I saw you, giant lady. I'm gonna follow you up the stairs. Why? Because I'm a dumb dumb. Alright, well, we got a pot here. Smash that pot! <laughs> Some handgun ammo. She gone. She gone. I'm a little miffed about the what amount of. Oh. Have you done to my daughter? Okay. Listen, lady. Your daughter started it. Your daughter started it with me. Nice. View map. I just still don't know how to view the map. Oh, touchpad. That's right. Yeah, I, for, I remember that now. Okay, so there's something in this room. That would have been helpful to know beforehand, so I know if I wasn't forgetting anything. All right. More gunpowder. It was good to come down this road this way then. We're going in here. This doesn't look very promising. Where am I? Oh, I know. There's, an inner, there's something to do in the water. I have to get in there. Even though I don't want to. Alright, let's go! What now? Okay. Oh, wait. So she's got wine to give to the the wine lady who's got horse to give. So maybe you need to I don't know what that is. Maybe these two need to face each other. And these two need to face each other. Let's try that. I'm not really one for puzzles, just so everybody knows. That's wrong. Maybe there's a clue on this little wall here. Women are blind to male advances, but the poor shall take their chances to give their lord their bounty sown. 
so that the wine may flow. All right, so women are blind to male advances. So male advances, women here, blind. All right. But the poor shall take their chances to give their Lord their bounty sown so that soon the wine may flow. So they're taking their chances, trying to give it to there. Uh, you need to look this way. Nope, other way, other way, other way. And I think you need to look at the lady. No. Maybe you need to look at this guy. No. Okay. Is that it? Did I do it? No. Well, this one can't even move over here. Uh, he's a general. So maybe he needs to look this way. And you need to look that way again. I don't know. Try this again. There can't be that many options for this. There's only two directions that these things can turn. So, women are blind to male advances, but the poor shall take their chances to give their Lord their bounty sown so that soon the wine may flow. Okay, so maybe you need to look this way. Maybe you need to look that way. There's a little arrow thingy underneath that. Maybe you need to look this way. And we'll move you back this way. I really couldn't even tell you. I really don't know. So I had to look it up and I didn't realize that this statue, I thought this statue couldn't move whenever I'd examine it, it couldn't move. So that makes more sense. General. Yeah, that's the part that I was missing. These two don't like the men. Uh, this guy, these guys are offering their allegiance to the general. As you can see, women are blind to male advances. The poor shall take their chances to give their lord their bounty sown in hope that by giving them their bounty, this guy will get her wine, except she doesn't like him because he's on a horse and he is... And look, look, let's, let's be real here. Look at that beard. No wonder. All right. So again, that's the statue. Have the or puzzle. Have the ladies look at each other. Horse dude looks at the lady over here. These three, they do move. They look at this guy here. Let's go down the stairs. Uh... Actually, we are going to actually conclude the video today. I think this is going to be a save point because I just did something major. So I think this, yeah, we'll just keep going. Let's just keep going. Whatever. We're in 1906. Whatever. Let's just keep going. I'm probably making a huge mistake, but oh well. I'm not hoping that there's going to be a typewriter somewhere. Okay, we're, we're actually definitely stopping. This looks like a made... Hey, go! <clears throat> Boing! I just chopped one of Miranda's, Mother Miranda's goat heads off. All right, we're going to stop there. This is going to... Ooh, look at that. Look at that mess up there. That will conclude part three. Stay tuned for part four. Look how scary those bags look. Look at those bags. Look at the bags.
Stay tuned for part four. Hopefully part three actually makes it onto YouTube. There's a lot of different parts because of all the uploading, not the uploading, I don't know, the brain just, just decided to just say, nah. Uh, because of the camera shutting off and everything else that's going on with the video quality and the green screen crap that happened at the beginning, I promise the next time I do an upload, it'll be a little bit better. Um, so stay tuned, part four, Resident Evil Village. Also, be sure to check out my Let's Discuss Politics video that I just made uh, last night. Bike Master B on the channel. Uh, we talked about the First Amendment and Big Tech, so check that out on Let's Discuss Politics with CC Rodriguez. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. Hopefully it turns out good. I really don't feel like going through and doing all those parts again. My name has been CC Rodriguez. This has been Resident Evil Village, and I will see you all on the next one. Have a good night.